Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the memory in your HP MV desktop computer. I have an HP MV desktop computer. Its model number is TE011134. It's got a Windows 10 Home operating system. It's got an i7 processor, and it's got 16 gigabytes of memory, and it works pretty good. But I use screen editing software. I use this Camtasia screen editing software and it's been acting a little laggy and I've been doing a lot of research and so I think I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade this memory we can maximize it out to 32 gigabytes of memory it's got 16 now so like I said in this video I'm gonna show you how to do that okay so the first step is to turn off the computer and unplug all the cables but you do want to leave the power cable plugged into the computer okay so I powered down the computer I removed all the cables and everything from behind the computer the only thing that's left is the power cord i've got nothing plugged into the front of the computer at all and so the next thing we want to do is then now that we've done that now we want to actually unplug the power cable okay and then we want to actually press the power button and that's what the instructions say right on the hp website it says press the power button and i don't know what that does following the instructions Okay, so after we've done that, the next step is to move the computer to a nice flat surface so you can work on it. And then you want to remove the access panel. There's only one screw. If we look around the border of this, of the desktop computer, we see that it basically has some kind of rivets all the way around. You really can't do anything with these, except there's one screw right there. And I suspect that if we remove that screw, we can slide this access panel back. So let's go ahead and do that. So you're going to need a flathead screwdriver to remove this screw. At first I thought it was a Phillips head, but if you look at that really close, it's not really a Phillips, but a flathead certainly does fit in there. So you're gonna need a flathead. If your, if your HP Envy, just like mine with the same model number, has, this, uh, it has not been removed or tampered with, it'll have this exact same screw here. Okay, so sure enough, that did the trick. I removed the screw, and then I kind of just put my finger in in the back here and just kind of pushed out a little bit, and you can pull right from here, and it kind of pulls out, and you'll feel it hit a section, and then you can just literally lift and tilt it up, and now we have full access to our computer, and we can actually see the memory card slots right there. So it's got uh, two memory card slots, and so if it's 16 gigabytes of memory, then, well, we've got a 16 gigabyte memory card slot here, so we'll need another 16 to make this a 32. Okay, just to go over this computer again and go over the specs so you know that you're working on the right computer, I've got an HP Envy desktop. It's a TE011134, Windows 10 Home, i7 processor, and it's got 16 gigabytes of memory on one of two card slots. So now what we need to do is I need to go down to the little uh, computer place down the street here and pick up some more memory. So let's go do that. Okay, let's hop in the baby Porsche and go get 16 gigabytes of memory so we can upgrade this computer. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm down here at my local computer place. I've got my information about my computer, so uh, I've already called ahead. They say they had the memory in stock, so I'm gonna go in here and uh, pick that up. Okay, so the gentleman was really helpful. He's gonna go in the back and check on if it needs DDR memory. Okay, so I bought the memory. It cost $110, 16 gigabytes of memory. We'll talk about the specific memory when we get back. Okay, guys, here we are. We're back, we've got the memory, and when I went there, I was going to take the old memory, and I didn't. And so we kind of winged it, but it turned out that this is the exact memory that we need. It's DDR4 memory. It's a 16 gigabyte memory stick, and it says it's 3200 RPM. I took the original one out. It says the same kind of numbers, so everything looks good there. He put this in a Crucial container uh, package, which reminds me that you can go to Crucial's website and look up and order all the RAM you need for your computer. So I should have done that first, so I had the exact specs, 
but I didn't. So really it's all about installing this memory and it's really, really easy. You can see these tabs here. You've got to release these tabs so you can get the, the memory cards out. So uh, that's what I did to get the one out. So I've got to put it in. You can see here that it's got a little, it's got a little notch on it. If you look up there, it's got a little notch right there. And so it can really only go one way. I already know that when I took it out, it was, it was facing this way. So I'm gonna put it in right back the way it goes. And I'm gonna put the other one in with that same information facing towards that fan. And I'm pretty sure they only go one way because of course you got that notch right there, which will make you, obviously if we turn it around, it wouldn't line up right because of that notch. So it can only go in one way. Okay, so I put that original memory card back in. If we look down here, we can see that right in the middle here, that's that notch right there, right where the tab goes. So you can only put these in one direction. So now we'll go ahead and put in the other one, but first we'll go ahead and pull up these locking tabs and lock this one in place. Okay, so I went ahead and put in the second piece of memory. It's all snapped and locked down tight. You gotta make sure that when you do this, you kind of have to press this down a little bit on each end as you lock this in because there's a little tab and notch out section that these things have to click into. So you have to make sure that you've got it fully seated and notched in there. And otherwise, uh, you don't wanna turn the computer on before you do that. Okay, so now that the RAM is installed, now we can just put the case back on, put the screw back on, and then we'll get ready to power the system back up. Okay, so the computer's all put back together, the case is on, it's, the screw is back in there. The only thing left to do is plug the computer back in, turn it on, and hope that uh, everything just starts back up and it's fine. Okay, so I have the computer plugged back in, I have all the accessories, well, almost all the accessories uh, plugged back in and then we can actually turn the computer on. So I just wanna make sure that my mouse and everything is going to work. And so we'll go ahead and put the, get these installed. And now we'll go ahead and turn on the computer. We shouldn't hear any beeping or any strange sounds or anything like that. And uh, let's see what happens. Well, I can see that the computer is booting up and starting. I haven't heard any noises. It's been absolutely quiet. So we'll see, yeah, getting Windows ready. Don't turn off the computer. We'll see what it says. Well, it's taken me to the home screen or my start page or whatever you call this screen where you log in. I like to log in on my computer. Uh, haven't heard any strange sounds. It didn't do anything weird. Uh, so let's go check where we can see how much RAM is now in the computer. It should say 32 gigabytes. Well, I think everything was a success. I just pulled up the general specifications for the computer. I don't know if you can see that, but now it says that it has 32 gigabytes of system memory. It says memory slot one has 32 gigabytes, or I'm sorry, 16 gigabytes of Samsung 3200 mega, uh, megahertz. And memory slot two has the exact same thing. So result, I'm very happy this went off without a hitch. And so yeah, this is how you would, uh, install an upgrade memory on your HP Envy desktop TE011134. If you found this video helpful and informative, please thumbs up this video.